Good afternoon. What's happening, Long Island? What's happening? Welcome to another edition of right, What's we're back. Oh, hey, I just have to show everybody. I got a mug. I got a mug. He actually made me a mug. Doesn't Thank have you. my name on it. Thank you. But I definitely, I have I got a mug. my mug. Thank you. My pleasure. Let, well, you know what? We haven't been on in a while. Let's cheer to that. Cheering. We haven't been on in a while. Hope everybody missed all, us. All alcohol. <laughs> I wish. Bellini's in the morning. So what's doing? No baby yet. This nope. is driving Still dancing. waiting. Still, Still waiting. waiting. Still first. Still waiting. It's, they're due. Uh, they're due. I'm saying they're like we're having twins. He is due uh, next Thursday. Right. The 24th. Oh, what's his name going to be? Tyler Mac. Oh, wait. Oh, Mac. So we first, we first said, well, I said that he was going to be born on July 4th. I said that it was going to. That was too early. Once, once the fireworks hit. Okay. She was going to labor. Okay. That's what I thought. Did that work? No. Okay. Then she said uh, July 14th. Okay. That would have been good. That didn't happen. No. Then I said that she's going to give birth at, at David Gusson's 516 yes. uh, last, seventh year anniversary. Right. Last night. Last night. In that She was going to give birth right. when I was there. Right. That didn't happen. So <laughs> now I'm convinced she's going to be late. She's, well, she's not due till the 21st, correct? She's going to be late. Okay. Well, we saw her last I Tuesday. I am convinced. I saw her last Tuesday, and she wasn't feeling good. And I said to her, please call the doctor. It's your first. Yeah. And, and she's been did. having contractions ever since last Tuesday. We did. We did. Should we call the doctor? She is having contractions. No baby yet. Is she walking around, jumping around? Tremendously. All right. Tremendously. She's doing, you have every, to remember boys. She is doing everything possible okay. to get this baby out. Okay. But boys, they want to stay in. Yeah. That's what it is. My Listen, daughter, thankfully, seven knock minutes on, she knock was on out. wood, um, baby is very healthy. Thank God. Ten fingers, ten toes. Baby is very healthy. That's all um, I asked for. They're not worried at all. Right. It's just a waiting game. This is boys. So, we'll see. My son is 17. There's some days he would rather we'll go see. back right in we'll than see, have to stay uh, out here. We'll see what happens. That's boys. I'm right. so excited. Yeah. I may not be here next week. Um, yeah, okay, but thanks. we'll see. Okay. So I do, I do have my phone with me because I said to her, listen, give me till 1 o'clock. Please. <laughs> give me till 1 o'clock, and then you can give birth. No, just so after just 15 in minutes, case, you can leave. Just in case I have my phone on vibrate, because yes. I know you hate the phone. I hate when he has um, the phone on the set. But she's going to so call me. She wouldn't text me. So we'll see. We're crossing, we're crossing our fingers. But regardless, I know if God forbid I have to leave, it's not God forbid. If I have to leave, thankfully, right. I know our guest today is, is outstanding. Amazing. Had an um, amazing event, which we'll, we'll talk about it. later. We will talk about it. What's new with you? Okay, so I started golf lessons. Great. Now, go on to me again. No, <laughs> no we're not going on to you. So how we always say that women miss out on the best opportunities because a lot of men network because of golf over the summer. Yes. And we miss, and really, it's an eight-hour day. So I now take golf lessons. Where? Um, I guess it's, what is it, Town of Oyster Bay? It's like in At Woodbury. No, it's in Woodbury. It's one okay. of the golf clubs and okay. golf courses in Woodbury by, like, you know, Ben's. Over yes. South Woods Road. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. so my friend Marianne, yes. she's arranged it. Thank you, Marianne. Yes, we love yes. you. Uh, Sherwood Triart is there and uh, Laguna Grill and that shop. Yes, yeah, Batera's. Laguna Grill is awesome. Okay, Yeah, continue. we went to Batera's the other night. Um, so Diana and I are now um, fish, and Marianne wow. officially taking golf lessons. Good for so you. maybe we're going to have a golf show. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, so that's very exciting. So I'm doing that and uh, yeah. plugging away at the reverses Good. and doing the body shop. And good. wearing this hat. Good. So, all good. Going away for the weekend. Where are you so, going? taking a break. I'm um, going up to Lake George. My nephews nice. and my little cousins are at camp. So, nice. my family, I love them, as I call them the Kardashians. The 14 of us are all going to Lake George this weekend. Watch oh, out, wow. Lake George. Yeah. So, nice. we're leaving tomorrow. I can't believe it's summer. Is like, it's going to be the end of July already. I know. I know. It's, it's crazy. crazy. It and is. And they predicted, a, they predicted a lot of rain. They predicted a lot of rain this summer. And, uh, you know what and, it is? And so far... <laughs> It rains, but you know what's we, funny we, is it, we have it. it rains during the week. It doesn't rain on the weekends. No. Again, this weekend's supposed to be nice. And then rain yeah. again, I think. Next, well, I think Sunday, I think. Week. Right. Something like that. Which is killing my detailing business Last at night, the shop. Last night, though, was just... Last night was... We were at an event with David. And it was funny. So we were at the event with, with David, and we'll talk right. about it more. Right. And, and he's talking, and he's right. doing his speech, all his speech, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden... All the phones it's a cell phone just screen. go off. <laughs> and, and we all thought originally it was just maybe feedback or something. Right. It was like, eh. Yeah, it was an emergency eh, alert. Like five minutes straight. Yeah, it was an emergency alert. Oh, the David odd, finished. The odds of how that happened. David finished speaking. 
we all ran out the door. But, uh, and it was harrowing. It was crazy. It was oh, harrowing it was, driving home last night. But regardless, it was a great event. I think it was an amazing, amazing, amazing event. Right. I think it was. So what's going on with the we'll real estate office? Are we moving soon? What we're are we going doing? to be moving to Plainview. Oh, good. 99% will be moving to Plainview. We haven't signed a lease yet. Uh, we have not signed a lease yet. <laughs> lease will probably be signed by August 1st. We'll probably move in September. Okay. Um, we'll have probably an open house in September. Good. Okay. Get everyone there. Right. Um, do a whole spiel. Um, right. Doing a lot of marketing. Yes. I have a major marketing campaign slash game that I'm putting together. Okay. Um, come August. Okay. Um, and this game is going to go through the networking world. No one has any idea of okay. it. Um, Stay tuned. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. It, it, the, I take that back. The only person that knows of it is Helen. Okay. Who's one of my agents. Right. Uh, because she does promotions also. Right. Um, and she's helping me with this. But... I thought about it. It's very, very clever. Nobody is doing it. Okay. And, and I you got to keep yourself fresh. That's what I it's tell gonna everybody. Be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a game that has to do with keys and treasures and, and searching Long Island. It's going to be fun. Isn't there a show like that? It's going to be fun. I think the Today Show did something like that. Whatever it is. It's right. my idea. Okay. So. <laughs> and you will get all of the credit. Um, so I, go, I open the Great Neck record because I'm from Great Neck. Okay. okay. I, I just have to say it. Because. It's me. I like and me. And guess who's in the newspaper? So, Greg <laughs> Record is me. If we can get, let's see how close we can get on a shot. So, there's me, Great Neck Record. Okay. Yes. yes. And let, I'm going to read this to you. Oh, really? I am going to read Can't this to you. Can't you just give us the cliff notes? No, 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 I'm going to read this to you. Cliff notes. So, my beautiful face. Okay. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Resident launches career in real estate. Okay. Okay. And this now, is how did you get in here? Like, did you know this? I knew the did director of sales. Okay, so clearly yeah. you wrote yourself up. Well, technically speaking, I wrote a synopsis. Okay. And then an editor um, called me, okay. uh, interviewed me for maybe a minute and a half, okay. and basically took my words and redid the whole thing. Okay. So. Okay. <clears throat> Getting water for this. <clears throat> Good. <laughs> Resident launches career in real estate. Mm-hmm. Michael Aharoni from Great Neck recently sold his companies, Network USA and Lime Social, and became a partner in the real estate company, Dynamic Realty Group of Long Island. Dynamic Realty Group sells and purchases residential and commercial properties, and we help other people buy and sell properties. We also do a lot of fixes and flips, property management, and a little bit of everything when it comes to real estate. The company is efficient. We are all under one roof. Everything happens more quickly that way. In 2008, Aharoni received his real estate license at Hofstra University. Now, in 2014, he believes this position is meant to be. I love the company. I believe everything happens for a reason. I started in real estate, and I ended up in real estate. That and that's quote? why I took this opportunity. Is that a direct quote? Excuse me. Is that a direct it quote? It is a direct quote. Okay, just asking. Aharoni worked for Douglas <laughs> Salomon and Daniel Gale, and he plans to incorporate his two passions, real estate and marketing, to help build the company. I plan on building a brand name and making the real estate company well known by putting my marketing knowledge to work. Life is not about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. I built a brand name for myself. I look forward to doing this with this company. Woohoo! Thank you. Very nice. Very nice article. It is a very nice article, considering you wrote it yourself. It's very nice. A little self-promotion. Wow. <laughs> Wow. No, I'm very proud of you. And I, I am self-promoting. And I am well, actually I'm involved. I'm a little. And I am involved in your new company. You are involved in my new yes. company. Yes, I am doing the you mortgage very, ends of You it. are very involved in my new company. And I will be doing everybody's cars because everybody in the company owns a car. Yes, And we'll yes. be bringing their cars to my body shop. Yes, yeah, I've yes. done a lot of events with my company with our, with our ho uh, co-host or guest today. Yes. I should say. And, uh, but no, it was, it was very nice to see me in there. Yes. Um, and uh, it's good. It, it's getting out there. I, I, I want to I wanna build a brand. It's exciting. It's very exciting. Right. Um, it's and I just exciting. love the opportunity to go just meet new people, tell people what we do. Of course. You know, course. And, and it's just the excitement of that. Right. I'm, trying to build, I'm trying to build a company and a platform where, like yourself, reverse mortgages right. can come in or a mortgage company can come in or somebody can come in and it's not just a real estate office. No. Like, I have ideas, like this game that I told you about. Right. Um, my, mind's, my mind's going. Right. 
Right. Well, you know? the first thing that a so, person would do is really come to the real estate office. You know, they're thinking about buying a house. Right. You'll have somebody there from a mortgage company Correct. who will be able to help them to exactly. pre-qualify them. We're going to take them step by step. Exactly. Let's check out any issues. We have a title company. Right. You know, make sure there's no easements, make sure there's nothing going on in the property, no Correct. liens, things Correct. like that. Right. You know, exactly. then we have the agent to take them out. They know exactly. about how much they need. They can spend. Correct. Correct. Bring them back in. Closing. Speaking of which, there we have... Uh, Two listings that I just want to, we have more than two listings, but two of which I want to really just put out there in case you know or anybody else knows. Uh, one is a rental in Valley Stream. Um, it's $1,500 uh, in the house, second floor. Um, very nice apartment, one mm -hmm. bedroom. Um, so that's one. You could check out the website and everything. Right. The other one, uh, which we'll be listing today, which we just got listed, is actually a flip that we're doing in Jericho okay. in the old hamlet. Mm -hmm. um, awesome place, um, very nice, three bedrooms, mm -hmm. uh, three bedrooms, three baths. That's a beautiful community. Brand new kitchen we're putting in. Okay. We're putting in three brand new bedrooms. It's a little I'm oh, sorry, not bedrooms, I'm sorry. Three new bathrooms. And how much is this going for? Uh, they have a yeah. tennis court, two pools, uh -huh. garage, deck. Okay, get we're, to and that. And we're selling it for 600 That's not bad. That's not bad at all, but then you have co-op fees. Is it a co-op or co a condo? Uh, it's a condo. Oh, it's the a condo. The condo fees, um, the condo fees, I want to say, are like six and change. I can do condos on reverse, you know. Six and so change. So if you get anybody, any seniors That's looking at it, we could do a reverse purchase. That's good to know in yes. condos. Yes. Yeah, six we and change. We just can't do co-ops. So yeah, if you know anybody... Okay. That wants to come into the that's condo place, world. Well, and that's a good place for like even the seniors or anybody to like downsize. Well, three bedrooms, but yeah. <laughs> but, but there's no maintenance. Correct. There's no maintenance, but you yeah, don't have there to mow the lawn. But there is a maintenance charge. There's a condo fee. Okay, but it doesn't matter. But you're not responsible for snow removal. You're not responsible, the removal. You're not responsible for you know mowing your lawn. Exactly. You know, Nothing it's everything outside your door. Exactly. I mean, that's not, so perfect. So yeah. many people that just don't want to have a, a big it's a gated, houses anymore. It's a gated community. community. Exactly. Um, I have a clubhouse and all that. Most houses go for upper six. Yes. Uh, Jericho School District. Right. Um, no, I'm just saying it's a good opportunity so, for someone else. Great. For someone so if you know anybody, if you know anybody, okay. if you get anyone, you know anybody, and they're going to come see me about um, the financing, so we'll be good. Yep, do the financing and yep. we'll take it from there. Good, very exciting. Yeah, so it's moving along. It's, moving it's, along. Uh, it's just moving along. Waiting for the baby. I half just my, feel half like my head is doing. baby. Half my head is <sighs> um, is work. Yes. So uh, very exciting. Just waiting. Yeah. Yep. But today, it's let's talk about today. Very exciting. Before we talk about today, our last show. Yes. Our promo show. Our promo show. That yes. was good. We okay. got we got our promo show was the most hit show since we started. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. I told yeah. you all my family's watching yeah. the show were good. Yeah. We have uh, <laughs> we have good we got we have good stats. Okay. Even though the show is in fact live. Yes. Okay. We don't promote it live. Right. You know, yes, people watch it live, some people here and there. Right. But most of the viewers and everything are after. It's all the after hits. Because this show goes on Facebook, this show goes on, on YouTube. Twitter, this yeah. show goes on goes on, tw uh, on YouTube, YouTube. Yes. goes on Madhouse TV, right? Um, it goes on any social media platform you can think of, right? And that's why people need to come and sit on our couch, right? Absolutely, you know, come sit on our couch, talk about your business, talk well, we get about it popular. life. We're like book now through September. Yeah, yeah. It's we don't want we don't want we don't want to very, put on a exciting. show that that is just interviewing. We no. want it to be interactive. Exactly. No, it's not just business. And also education. Correct. You know, education. Let's educate people. Today exactly. we're doing networking. We're going to tell people exactly. how to find the right networking group, what to look for, what are exactly. they looking for. And we can help them. The three of us especially right. can help them find groups. Exactly. exactly. It's the only way to grow your business. Without Networking question. is the only way to grow your business. So really, it's also it's educational, everything we do. Yes. Yeah. So with that Which said, come sit on our couch. Yes. We got to shoot the commercial. Okay. When we get back to commercial, our guests will sit on this couch. Yes. Um, David Gusson, 516-61 ads. Um, Amazing. I won't Amazing say anything person. until we get back from commercial. Good. And we'll take it from there. See you in a few. See you in a few. Dr. Robert Brevard. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists, 
We also do pain management, and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multi-Medicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions, from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we 15 years. We do a vast years. array of diagnostic testing, from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicky is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicky is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. Technical Worldwide Tattoo Supply is one of the largest suppliers in the world and your number one resource for top quality, affordable tattoo and piercing supplies. Technical Worldwide Tattoo Supply is the number one supplier of tattoo inks in the world with more than 200 products including Mom's Ink, Philadelphia Eddie's Traditional Inks, Paolini Sacred Color Inks and more. Technical Worldwide Tattoo Supply, your one-stop shopping destination for great service, best prices and top quality supplies. Coney Island Carlos Vintage Wines and Premium Spirits are undeniably distinctive. Selected for their unique, memorable flavor, Coney Island Carlos Vintage Wines and Premium Spirits are delivered to you in beautifully designed bottles featuring limited edition artwork. Coney Island Carlos Vintage Wines and Premium Spirits are available at affordable prices in fine restaurants, bars, and liquor stores. Or check www.coneyislandcarlo.com for availability. Welcome back to What's Happening Long Island. Great opening. Great opening. As Always usual. is. I like to, uh, I like to brag well, about that. Well, because ourselves. we don't talk really. I mean, yes, we saw each other last night, but we didn't talk about anything. No. I just really introduced no. you to, you know, a lot of people I wanted you to meet that exactly. I've never met you. Exactly. But we don't talk about what we're going to say. No, we don't. This is all improv. Ad this is lib. all improv. This is all ad lib. <laughs> I feel so much closer to you now. I know. Isn't that nice? Right? This is fun. Well, without further ado. Yes. We have um, to I'll give you the better. honor okay. to introduce our guest. Okay. And we'll dig right in. I met David years and... I don't even know how long we've known each other. And honestly, he's just such a good person, not only for what he does, which is connect people, and I'll tell you what he does. He mo makes you want to be a better person. He does. So I am so honored that you came on our show, sitting on the couch, and tell everybody about yourself. And, and welcome. Welcome to our show. Thank you guys welcome, for having David. me. Uh, my name is Michael. Mike Irona, <laughs> Dave Gosson. Nice to meet you. They've got Jilly. Jilly, don't come on. Me. This is me. After watching you two, I was thinking I should sit in the middle to keep you apart. But if this is, you guys want to be next to each other, so be it. She never wants to sit next to The tension. It works. Yeah, you know, the keep, chemistry. Uh, well, be, before, before you get into it, I, I want to talk about the event last yes, night. Yes, it was Because amazing. it was a, 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 a moment in time, despite the flash floods. Yes. Uh, but it was a moment in time. So last night um, was your seventh year anniversary. Yeah. First and foremost, congratulations. Thank congratulations. You. But tell everybody about your company first. So everybody knows what we were celebrating. Yes, Jill. Please tell about your company <laughs> first. Uh, Jill is my boss, David. Whatever okay. Jill says goes. That's so just where we're sitting. So today. I'm going to put this on hold. <laughs> okay. And you can take. Well, show. and this way, then we can tell no, everybody no, what we're well, celebrating. I, love it. I, 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 I absolutely am. Hey, buddy. Who are you, and what do you do? You're about <laughs> to have a kid, so Jill being your boss, get used to that, buddy. <laughs> You think your wife is your boss now? You wait till you have a I'm kid. I'm his business oh, wife. Geez. I'm his business wife. Oh, anyway, uh, five one six ads and six three one ads. Uh, 
we call it Long Island's Business Community Network. Uh, the idea of the business community coming together and build our own resource. Uh, that's a good idea for many reasons. The price of advertising has always been astronomical for years. Uh, yeah. Silly numbers. And Num it doesn't work. Numbers that people, I tell people stay away from ad takers Prince, when you mention don't work. Prince but numbers work. of astronomical yeah. for years. Right. I mean, thousands of dollars to be in the paper 20 years ago. Uh, yes. On the cleaning store 15 years ago, it was uh, over $1,400 then to put the ad on the movie screen. Right. But we build our own resource. Right. Uh, why? Because we can. Right. Uh, the Internet's given all the tools. But my passion comes from uh, building a resource but using it to spread positive instead of negative. And uh, it might sound so simple, but the media bombards us with negativity. Yes. Uh, if it bleeds, it leads. Hate makes headlines. Right. Well, you can't make a good newspaper. That wouldn't work. But if you could build a resource and help people ignite their business slash make their businesses better and everyone becomes a part of it and pays their fair share, yes. well, then it's now, simple to use it as a platform this? to how spread good stuff. How did you come up stuff. with this? Uh, like how? The name or the whole, the the whole, whole idea? The whole concept. Uh, not purposely, but some of the viewers, and you might know my background as a teenager, I created the Everything Bagel. <laughs> okay. Uh, worked in a bagel store in uh, Howard Beach, Queens, New York. Uh, one of my jobs was sweeping out the oven. Those are my favorite right. seeds, the ones that fell off the bagels over the course of the day. <laughs> uh, one day, after hanging out at Speaks in Malibu at the clubs, I go into work. One day, <laughs> sweep the bagels in the bin, go to my boss, Charlie. Charlie, make some bagels with these. We'll call it the everything bagel. And uh, Okay, so you created the other, and then so how did networking come through uh, this? I'm, I'm leading to the networking <laughs> okay. part because... Everything bagel, marketing, advertising, creating something. When you create something popular, and at the time I didn't go home and say, Mom and Dad, I created the Everything Bagel. I said, I'm going to play hockey. I didn't know I created anything popular. Right. But what does happen when you do create something popular is you'd like to do it again. Yes. You know, you think you have a marketing mind and everything. Now, I was always entrepreneurial like both of you and 95% yes. of Long Island business owners. Right. Uh, yes. But before I started 516 Ads in my early 20s, I created a message that led to where we are. And that message is called LEARN. It was the acronym for Let's End All Racism Now. And when oh. I say hate mix, headlines, and, uh, yes. and, and, and if it bleeds, it leads. So I sent that message. It was before the Internet. And I created that message, and I had my little typewriter, and I sent it to the schools, all the different papers, the New York Daily News, the Post, the Times. Mayor Koch was the mayor at the time. Oh, he's great. That's how far back we're going. Yeah. The schools loved it, and they used it in every school in New York City, and yes. it's been used in schools around the world. Learn. Yes. Let's end all racism now. Learn. Love excellence and respect now. We're a screwed up world, but if we're going to educate children, those are two pretty good messages. Anyway, the yeah. media ignored me, and the politicians ignored me. So it took some time and stuff, but then one day I thought of the name 516ads.com. I was actually working at a mortgage office. I was given the responsibility of building their website. I called it 516loan.com. After I built 516loan, I started thinking of other names that would go nice with 516. And when I thought of 516 ads, I, bam, I knew immediately that could be a resource for all of Long Island. Now, back when you started 516, were we all 516 at the time? No, I immediately. We still had 631? I bought 631 immediately. I okay. bought 516 and 631. Because I don't remember when it switched. I bought 516 and 631 ads at the same time. time. Okay. I actually held on to them for uh, many months and didn't do anything with them. Okay. But I knew that I wanted to get into marketing and help Long Island, you know, create the everything, but you create learning. You think I'm pretty good at this marketing stuff. Yeah. And then sometimes you just got to do what you're meant to do. Yeah. You know, I was always a, had a child, Mikey, like you at a young age, at 22. I couldn't take a marketing job. No one was going to hire me anyway. I went to college for a year and a day. You had to have a degree. Right. But I couldn't take a job for 12, 5, or 14, 5. That's what those jobs were going yes. for. Yes. But finally, when the economy tanked and everything, and if you remember right before the $700 billion bailout, I said I might as well go for it now. And go for it now, man. Starting my own marketing and advertising. I didn't even know about this networking stuff that we all do. <laughs> I knew I wanted to build an, When I want to do something, I want to be the best. I saw 516 ads. I was like, everyone in Long Island can remember that name. Right. Man, we could build our own resource. We get up Long Island businesses, get their name out there in a variety of ways. And instead of spreading negative with it, we could spread positive instead. And, how, uh, how long have you been from. part of 516 since his, his Probably start? Probably about four, five four, years. Four or five years. No, because I only started networking, say, five years ago. 
Okay. And Which is amazing because you, you're a superstar, right? How, how did you get into networking and how did you find about 516 ads? I had lost my job which was devastating, like the company I was working for, the mortgage company I was working for closed its doors, and not because of me or anything like that. And I was at the lowest part of my life. And my friend Linda Herskowitz, who you know very well, Mary Kay, she said to me, enough, get out of bed, get dressed, you're gonna be the face of first class collision. And she brought me to this B&I group. She's like, you have to be there at 7 a.m. I'm like, are you out of your mind? I'm not getting up at five oh. o'clock in the morning. Yeah. No, sorry, we don't wake up looking like this. <laughs> and, and I went to the B&I and I don't know. I was so comfortable. I, I never spoke in public. But I never spoke in public before. Right. You know, I, ne I, I'm, I was very shy when I was little. And, and I mean, you can ask my mother, and you know my sister, and you know my father. They'll tell you. So it was like a whole new world. And then I guess David must have come. You must have come to one of our events, or I was invited to one of your events. And we got introduced, and it was love at first sight, really. Interesting. And that's right. And then Absolutely. you came, and you came over to our shop, and you met Greg. And we signed up right away because we knew we had been doing, you know, we had owned the body shop then for five years probably. So, and we knew that the print wasn't doing it. We were on the diners, the um, mats. Yeah. We were in the penny saver. We sponsored Little League. I mean, there was nothing that we did not do. try. And nothing. Uh, but when I lot. met David, oh my God. I, I can't even tell you because he knew what to do. He knew who to introduce me to. He knew where to put me. And he's created a monster because here I am. And networking, <laughs> first of all, you're a natural networker. I don't know how, but I, thank you. know you. when I speak, I'm not yes. just saying it on this no. show. We no. guys have known each other for a long, long time. time. And I, not that I tell it like it is, but I, I right. try to be... I try to be very accurate in the yes. information I give. Yes. And many people count on me. They want real information. Absolutely. Ask me. You are the go-to person. And, and that's what I've become and because of you. auto business, networking is a home run. Yeah, it's easier. Networking is different for different industries. 100%. Oh, yeah. You have to work it differently. It's no, just different for different industries. Everybody owns a car, yeah. which is easy. You know what I'm saying? But like Diana, when she got into it, She's a workers' comp attorney. Not everybody can refer to Different her. Different for her. Like the attorneys are difficult because they're niche. It depends what kind of law they're handling. Exactly. But I, I like to use the divorce attorney as an example. Never mind the different things, but we'll just take the one per industry type of setting. Yes. You could sit around the group of 20 to 25 people or whatever. Yes. They're going to need auto repair. Yes. Not only that, but it's an industry where no one trusts anyone, so they think that they're getting ripped off. Right. So right away when they know someone in auto repair who does it, which is similar to the plumber and similar to the electrician type, they're like, thank God, because now yes. it's sort of like a family member taking yes. care of you. Exactly. Yes. The yes. divorce attorney. It's a real person. The divorce attorney could be as personable as you, as to love being around people as much as you, but the divorce attorney is not going to get as much out of that table as you. No. It's a personal matter. Maybe yes. the person doesn't want to talk about someone that they know. They rather talk to a stranger. Right. So the intricacies of networking, it's, I know this show is about networking. One of the things is it's different for different industries. And this show alone and won't be able to cover the nuances no. and niches right. of it. Right. It could have to do with the person's personality. There are so many little factors that come involved yeah. of what works for for whom. Right. It's, it's, it's without without question, you know, and you hit it on the mark. You hit it right on the mark. It's, it's the fact that there's so much networking out there, right? And everybody goes a different way in, in networking. And there's and there's listen. There's tons of networking groups out there. We all right. know that. There's tons of networking here, and you, you can go crazy right. with networking. You can network for such you know, a dinner. But the, but the way you network and the way you host your events and everything, it works. And yeah, why so does tell it work? Us how we, it's because it's because of that human interaction. It's that face-to-face right. -face well, interaction. Well, and his his ability to connect people. So right. when you came up with this idea, how did you get your first client to sign up? Actually, that's. Uh, once again, I didn't know about this networking when I first started. Okay. I had 516ads.com, 631ads.com. I want to get people to place ads in this resource. Okay. The first call I made, I got a sale. Okay. It was the first call. Well, not the second, not the third. First person I called, which I took from the town. What else, where do we get our leads from? And networking wasn't like this no. at all. Right. And you really had just sporadic internet, groups, right. but nobody played together. We made everyone stop playing together. Not yes. purposely, yes. but we weren't trying to build a group. We were trying to build a resource. Right. If a group's trying to build themselves, they're only telling you about their group. If you're trying to build a resource, you tell people about all the different groups. Yes. That's the first thing we did different. Yes. So I called the person. They signed up. Actually, the price was double what we charge now. You got to make prices up. The price at that time was 5 dollars 
Found them in the penny saver. They're like, five ninety nine is less than I'm paying now, five one six eight. That sounds good. I'll give it a shot. Right. So the first phone call we got a sale. But two weeks into it, my dad, like you work with your dad, and I think very highly of your dad and your family, and you know that. Uh, uh, I love him. I told my dad, this isn't going to work, Pop. I could get people to sign up with 516 ads, but in a year from now, they're going to think that I ripped them off. Right. Like, what do you have to offer it's not, them? No one's coming to the site. Why would they? We were a whole two weeks old. Right. So we got this site. It's a good name. I could sell it, but the people are going to be mad at me. They're going to think I took their money and didn't do anything. Right. we got to do more. Right. And that's when I attended my first networking event. I attended it. It was on uh, Hempstead Turnpike in Franklin Square, run by Evan St. Gerard and his partner, Dean, also in a real estate company. They still do networking to this day. I forget the name of it, but nice place. And I, didn't, I sat across the bar for an hour and change. Didn't go into the event at all. Didn't introduce Just myself. Like They're here on this side. The, I'm here watching. Right. And then after an hour and change, I go in and just start introducing myself, saying hi to people. That's right. uh, it didn't take too long before I thought to myself, first of all, this is fun. Right. Well, great appetizers. I'm starving. Great appetizers. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful appetizers. Shake hands. I don't really think I even told anyone what I did. Just hi, my name's David. First time. Like, nice to meet you. It didn't take too long before I thought to myself, I could do this. A uh, couple of things, and then, of course, we'll talk more questions. I hear often it's all about networking. I don't agree with that, guys. It's not all about networking to me. Uh, networking is like gym. In a business, business has many different aspects like school. Social studies and science is hot. Recess is fun. So networking is fun. And people like to say it's all about networking, sort of like a buzzword. Yeah, but the, it's not. The being networking is a small part about many things. And when we spoke about all the different networking out there, there can't be too much networking, but someone could network too much. Yes. You see, yes. who's to say for the business owner, you create events, you create events, dozens of others, hundreds yes. of others create events. Who's to tell them not to? They're igniters of business. You know I use that term, igniting business. They're igniting business. Let them do it. Even if the only person it's good for is them and they get value of it. Better to create your own event and have 10 people come than attend an event with 100 people that, that you don't do anything. Right. So can't be too much networking, but someone could network too much. In fact, in your little pamphlet that you held up yeah, before, we're talk one about of the this. things is if, uh, if, if networking doesn't equal smart business activity, you're just hanging out. And people watching the show and Long Island business owners and people who are struggling, they like hanging out. They're nice people, but they're struggling. We got to turn it into business. And of once course. we we'll, make money, yeah, we're, we're going to get into happen. that. We just got to jump to a commercial. So I, I apologize for I'm it. sorry for talking for, so No, much. no, don't be sorry at all. <laughs> we got to jump for commercial. When we get back, we'll talk more about that. You know, yes. I don't want to talk about the event and, and how yes, and how we network to get. Well, we can talk about the event. Yes, we can talk about the Should event. Should I sit in the middle or After commercial. Yeah, after the commercial. We'll be right back. I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's Ladies Night In, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas with a twist. First, a 
can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. It's not, shh, trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. Welcome back. This is just my favorite show. I was really looking oh, forward great. to this show. I'm, I was looking forward to it too, but let's, let's well, start. I have something to say. I just want to finish the conversation that we were having about networking and about, you know, that you can network too much or too little. Networking is about creating relationships. That's what networking really is. It's not about how many people you're going to meet in a day. It's how many people you're actually going to develop a relationship, like when you talked about friendships. Yes, you have to have a relationship with a person in order to get a referral, okay? There's many people in networking that I will never do business with and they will never do business with me and that's okay. But then I have my core people and the people that I meet that I know I want to continue on with. I want to have another discussion with them. And that's what happens after your events is that we all get together and we all meet each other. And that's the beauty of this brochure that he put out because this is a lot of his sponsors. Exactly. Now, if you didn't get to see everybody last night, because I think a lot of people, because of the weather, you know, really didn't come out, but you can still say, wow, I really wanted to meet this person. Here's their phone well, before, number. Before we leave today, he'll talk about his, his upcoming events. But, right. but I, just want, I do want to touch upon uh, it, it, this brochure that he has. Right. You know? um, correct me if I'm wrong, and I, and I know you said it last night, you have 83 sponsors, was it? It was 86 sponsors for this particular... I was three off. For, the, for this, for this three one off. event. You know, we have about 400 plus sponsors. So you have, 80, you have 86 success. sponsors. I and yourself being one of them. Yes, okay. my okay. first class collision. Um, number one. Number one right here. First class collision. Here okay, here. so since you said you're number one, I'm the only one in capital letters. Thank you very much. Of course <laughs> he would know that. Oh, but in all... <laughs> so, I'm glad you both look. I'm glad you both happy. <laughs> but yes, you, when you said something yesterday... <laughs> Um, that that I agreed upon, and you said it doesn't matter the names on here. No, it's, it's the quotes, and, and I want and I want to read. It's the quality of people. It's the quality of people also, it's but the I want to. But people. before I get to the people, forget okay. the people right now. Okay. I just want to. I just want to touch upon each quote. Okay. And I, I just want him to comment on it, like he did last night. Uh, for those of you who didn't come last night, I don't because have my what glasses, he what so he, I'm going to read it. Okay, good. What he said to each one, though. Uh, really stands out, and I'm a true believer in it. Also, yes. You know, when I when I met David four years ago, four years ago was it? You know, we met at when I was a financial advisor, brand new business, 22 years old, no idea what I was doing, but I knew that I didn't have the money to market, right. and I had the personality. So you I knew said, that right away. Right away. Right away. Right away that right. I didn't want to spend marketing. I wanted to show face. Right. Okay. But I don't know about networking. So we met. I got there, and I said, Hmm, why not? And I went through my changes. And I went through financial advisor, I got my other licenses, and I went through a few changes to find myself. And when I opened my insurance company, I said to myself, and you know this very well. I was there. You know, I said, <laughs> why not bring my prospects to me? Right. Why not? Right. So that's where I started the Lime Social, inspired by 516 ads and other networking events, but, right. but primarily the events that I saw. And I said, listen, let me do something different. I don't want to be a copycat of anything. I want to do something different. But it worked. You had said before uh, about networking, and I had said you better have your event of, of your own than attend an event with many. And once again, it's a balance. Create your own, piggyback on others. It's not the first time I'm saying it. Mike used networking as nice of a platform for his insurance business as anyone at the time. Right. Because I'm in the business of networking, creating business. I make my money. When people write me checks, it's for networking. 
Right. When Mike was in insurance, he was he loved the networking part, maybe even wanted to do it. Right. But he was using it as a platform for his business. Right. He did that very, very well. Yes. Uh, if someone has the ability to do that, do that. Because how could it be bad to bring people around right. in a business format right. where you're the business that put it together? Right. And and just and can't, bring, it, it can't be bad. It's right. Once again, bringing the right <laughs> it, it, people it, together to create the, right people, the business. Right. And listen, and talking to the right people, I couldn't do without the support of you. So I right. thank you. Yeah, I and thank I couldn't do the support with followers like you. So right. I thank you. You know, yes. And I got to it. And yes, I opened up Network USA. And that was a whole nother ball game. That's neither here nor there. And again, I moved into my real estate, but you and I have always worked together yes. because we understood we each other. We you know, we, all, we, all, we always understood each other. Two peas in a pod, the but, two of them. But, but why you and I got, to, got along together is because you and I wanted to help people. Yes. You and I wanted to help people and bring people together, and that's all we cared about. Well, you know, I do like to help people and stuff like that, uh, and I hear people get up and they'll say something like, I do this for Long Island. I don't do this for Long Island. I love that I'm in Long Island. To me, I have the greatest job in the world. I do it why a lot of people do stuff. Whatever I do, I want to be great at it. Yes. I just want to be clear. Right. Even if you're talking to someone, you say, I do it for Long Island. You know what someone would say? If someone said to me, I do this for you, I, what do you got there? You should shoot me a battery because okay, in case you need one, I gotta put but my mic. I gotta do, put battery do your in the mic. thing. That's, right the, that's the best of really? life. Really, you could just keep it off. We're good. See, Come this on, is really live. This is really cool. Continue. That's I the apologize. Best of live TV. Yes. But if I'm standing in the audience and someone says I do this for Long Island, like most people, I'd say, you know what, buddy, I didn't ask you to do anything for me. Right. Don't do me any favors. Right. But as a person building your business, whatever you're doing. When I was a newspaper boy, I wanted to be the best of it. When I worked in the bagel store, I wanted to be the yes. best counter person. And if I'm going to start a marketing company, I want to be the best at it. Yes. And I actually think if you're in business, and mind you, best is a strong word. Everyone got their own stuff. I really know that. But most people, if you're going to be in business, you better want to be great at what you do. You better right. want to go out and create the best. For no reason you have to, to survive. Right. So, yes, I love to bring people together. That's what I get to do. Right. But it's because whatever I do, I want to be the best at it. And Right now, my job is to create business and hopefully do some good stuff so let, let in the me, Long Island community. Let me you do, and you know what? And you open a lot of doors as a business owner. You have opened so many doors for me and for so many other oh, well, people. It's amazing, all you of know? us people getting together. That's it is it. the right system. It's if anything, it's like a system. Yes. A system of on the web, off the web. I call it web and warmth. You know, and it's not for everybody. <laughs> Networking is not no. for everybody. No, you see, you see, you see the... You have networkers that come to the events, okay? Is my mic working? Perfect. I just, gotta, I just gotta make sure. It's you a did live that show. battery shit switch quick. It's a live I, I, show, I, right? Props, props to the I don't want to just keep talking, uh, but you have these networking people that, no, you're correct. It's not for everybody. It's because not for everybody. You come in and you have the people that stand in the corner and, and, and don't really know what to do. And it's people like David, people like myself, people like you that break these people into networking. Yes. That break the ice because. You don't have to necessarily have the personality to do it. You just got to be open. You got to be open. Can I tell you one difference, though, between 516 and the other networking only because it matters? Absolutely. If someone's just in networking, they run events all the time, it's nice and everything, but in the end, they're event planners. Yes. Every month they have an event, and it's great. That could be value. I go to these events, and, and I thank the people who run them. Please keep running them. We're on our own. I hope to go right. in there and get business. Right. Right. But because of the name 516 ads and 631 ads, that has the ability, because the names are so memorable, similar to the everything bagel and look, they could be known by all of Long Island. That means they could become a resource. There's only about 2,000 businesses that network. There's over 100,000 Long Island businesses. If the business community is going to come together and build a resource, that means when a regular Long Island is looking for something, there's a chance because 516 ads and see, those names are so memorable. If we put quality behind it, the whole community can know about it. Right. That takes it away from networking. That turns it that when a homeowner is looking for roofing or car repair or something, oh, right. let me check out 516 ads. Right. It's a resource. It, it becomes a resource, not just a little networking group. So there's more to behind it when the And it's really nice that you always over. have, like even being in a, like let's talk about other groups, BNI, Latip, Gotham, Elephant. I mean, there's so many different concepts Melville out there. Chamber. Ch okay, As I say to Chambers, Chambers, most Chambers, get your act together. 
I give credit to the Melville Chamber. I give credit to other chambers. But the reality is most chambers, from what I've seen, they sit on their butt. They're collecting money for the street fair. Once they get their dues, they don't care that much about you. I'm not here to insult you, chambers. What I challenge you to do is pick up your game. Right. Create activity. And if you wonder why I'm talking to you like this, it's because if I'm going to spend my time coming here and you're going to watch the show, I don't want to waste your time. Right. You got a lot of stuff to do. You got business to take care of, families to take care of. So Chambers, and to do, those that are out there do a great job, I applaud you and thank you. But most of you, we need to light a fire under your butt yes. and get more offensive and take care of business and create business instead of sitting back collecting your money for and the with, street fair. You don't have any business owners fooled in Long Island. Get your you, act together. You just, and you just, and that's <laughs> perfect. That, that part, and I uh, That's real. But, it but is you're real. just setting not in business. And let me, and let me just, because right, right in the Could thing. Could you get in what you want to say already? Go ahead. No, because he just, it, it, he just said igniting business. Okay. Igniting business. Yes. No? He Thank always you. says that. Doesn't it go smoothly? Yes. Thank you. Yes. So, let me, let me, let me read you some of these quotes, and then we got to jump to commercial. Okay. And then we get back. I want to know about your upcoming events and whatnot. Okay, and then we'll, we'll touch upon the quotes after the commercial, but let me just say them all now. So he says igniting business. You have to ignite business, okay? Chambers, of course. People have to ignite business. David can't do it alone. I can't no. do it alone. You can't do it alone, okay? No. It's impossible. Right. Everybody has to have some part. That's why he said, if you do networking, do the networking. It only helps him. It only helps us because people have to stand up and do what they need to do. You can't rely on somebody else. No. So I hear igniting business. Igniting, and this is all from David's thing, okay? Igniting business starts with your hard work, determination, quality product service. After that, it's about using multiple tools, mixing web and warmth, which he said, mm -hmm. making yourself easy to remember, getting out there and making things happen. That is a marketing philosophy right there for any business to follow. Right. It sounds so simple. Follow that philosophy. Right. Now, other quotes also, just to mention it, and then we've got to jump to the commercial. You may, you can, and this is Dale Carnegie, and I know this is one of your favorite quotes, which you mentioned but before. networking, it's good. You can make more friends in two months by, be, by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. And that's a perfect saying, make something happen. Right. If your networking doesn't equal smart business activity, you're just hanging out. Exactly what he's saying. Follow your strengths. Hire your weaknesses. That's a business quote, not a networking quote. That's, one of the best that, business quote. Good, yes. One of the best business quotes you'll ever hear. Yes. I didn't make it up. I mean, I heard no. it at a seminar no, through networking. Right. Of course. <laughs> your number one guru better be you. Oh, He's absolutely. very passionate about that, and that's what I said. It's up to you. We can't do it for you. No, absolutely. We can only do so much. Right. Follow your passion. Be a leader. You can do it. Don't be a counter. Be a doer. You're all about being a doer and be genuine. The last one, which I like, and I agree with you 100% on this, and I'll leave it on this note when we jump into commercial. Networking. There could be 400 people in a room. Oh, you say this all the time. And nothing happens. It's true. There could be four people in the room, mm -hmm. and great things happen. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to make it happen. Absolutely. Let's, not, let's, not, let's leave it on that, and we'll come back and talk. We'll be right back. Shake It Up, right? And Shake Up stands for style, health, oh, attitude, kindness, 
entertainment. That's right. But that's really, right. it's more about gossip. Yes. That's what we do. We gossip. We like to gossip. I we love like it. to gossip, interview people. We're going to have some health tips. We're going to tell you what's in, what's not. Yeah, there's a lot, have a lot of things that's fun. not in them. That's, I, yeah, I that's really want to focus on what's not in them. People don't know what's age They make mistakes. They yeah, just make mistakes. They just So we're going to correct those mistakes. Yeah. And we're going to yeah. have a lot of fun. We're going to be on Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m., so we want you to join us. And we're also going to have a great segment on health and what's uh, new. Wellness. Yes, wellness. Health, and wellness. health and wellness. What's it's very new, important what's to us. Yeah. We, uh, we work really hard with that. We coach a lot of people through that. So yep. you're going to join us. It's going to be a healthy. lot of fun. You're going to get healthy. And love you're going to have a good time. Oh, and we're also going to have the curse jar. Yes. I love that. That's, that's, that's going to be awesome. Shit. Five dollars. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Come see us in the morning. Bye. Join us. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail centre. Hogs hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. Welcome back. This is one of my favorite shows with two show. of my favorite men in my life. I want, I want to re. I want to I restate the quote. I have something to say again. Go ahead. Say your Ladies quote. first. Ladies first. What do you got, Jill? I was going to say through when we talk about all the different networking and all your quotes and everything like that, it's about relationships. And when people turn around, you know, when uh, so many people at uh, the event last night, you know, obviously um, a lot of places because of you, because of you, we're a lot of places, and people will say, I don't understand how you do this. What does that mean? What does that mean you don't understand how what? How David does this? How I do this? How Michael does this? What does that mean? I don't think they, I don't you think know, they and under... That, and it's so funny to hear people say that. I, I can't be I, like you. I don't you. think they grasp the fact of what networking is. What networking is being yourself. But networking, That's what networking is. Networking is different to different people. Right. One thing I always do in business and everywhere is always have exceptions to the I always have respect for the exceptions to the rule. Meaning 99% of the people might come in for business, but I also always remember that there might be that 1% who just comes in because they like the social aspect of it. Yes. Because if it just... But they don't get that. Well, but, but, yeah, so you have to have an open mind that people do network for different reasons. Right. For and it's social, not, and right. we can't just assume because be open to that 1% who's just there because maybe they don't get to hang out around a lot of people and there's a lot of nice people in that room. 100%. We talked before, it's about business, but... I, ne I never expected to make friends. From being a teenager up until I'm 49 now, but up until I started this, I never really thought I'd make friends again. My friends were my friends from school and, right. and high school. Right. Everyone else I met after that, you have children like you, they're acquaintances. Right. Yeah. That changed the networking. Absolutely. I've made friends. I know you've got made friends. And I mean and real we friends. Real, true I'm talking about people. friends that you care about them yes. and you're no. going to know them and for years them. from now. Yeah. And, and you trust them. That's what it is. There you well, that's what networking you build is. build a trust. You build a trust and then they're a resource to you. So when someone comes and says, I need a exactly. disability attorney, do you have somebody? Absolutely. You know what networking is? That's it's just what it a, is. There is no definition. It's just a word. In right. the business it format, is. this is how you judge networking. Judge networking with I. That networking event was great. I was great. That networking event sucked. I sucked. Because networking is as good as anyone makes it. Right. It's up to each of us to go in the room and make that room work for networking us. Networking and all the different various groups, the B&Is, the this and that, what you put into networking is what you get out of networking. 
that is really what networking is. Exactly. But once again, you know? different for different industries. Exactly. Yes. That, that that's, has to do with the intricacies of it. But you have to build your foundation. It. Even if you are a, a sole practitioner, you still have to build your foundation. You still have to meet the attorneys to give you the referrals. You still have to meet the, meet the business people. You're build, networking is building a foundation and having the relationships let's take that the, seal the, the relationship. Let's the, take the, because I know we don't have, let's take the famous financial advisors. Right. And everyone in networking, they joke with it. Well, how many financial advisors going to be in the room? Exactly. Oh, how many okay. attorneys? <laughs> but, because someone could go there and you're right. an auto person and your right. car broke. Down. Oh, my God. I, my tire just went flat yesterday. My daughter, I'm so glad I met you. Even better, the business card person. Uh, oh, you need cards? I just ran out of cards. I need 500 of them. Right. They could get orders at a networking event. Yes. But for the financial yes. person, exactly. can they just show up and get something? No. Probably not. But can they use networking? In my opinion, how they should use it? I've told it to you from the first time I met you. Become a leader in networking. Yes. Yeah. How could it yes. be bad for the financial person if they do nothing else in the networking scope? Not that Become they attend and hope to shake hands. Oh, my God, I've been looking for a financial planner. That's not going to happen. No. But if that financial planner has the ability to bring 25, 50, 100 people together every month, create activity, they're the ones who host the event. Right. It puts them in a leadership role. It makes them stand out from the crowd. What are they doing? They're igniting business. They're bringing businesses together. Often these things are mixed with doing good stuff in the community. So if they do nothing else, they brought business together, created activity. They mixed it with helping a charity. For a business, that's a pretty nice way to get yes. your name out there. Be a leader, and it's financial what can, advisors. what can you offer to people? That's how you really substantiate yourself. You know, you're educating them. You're not saying switch to me right now, but this is what I can offer you. I can exactly. offer you information. I can offer you people that I would like exactly. you to introduce you to. I don't see jobs coming back where people can make a living. Once again, right. exceptions to the rule. Have respect for it. There will be some jobs. I see people need being, needing to be brokers of their own expertise yes. or their own expertises. Right. The reason I say that is so in the old days, you used to do one thing. Now, say, let's take insurance. Now, you could do life insurance. I, I just do life insurance in the old days. Now you can do many insurance slash Correct. multiple streams of income. Yes. But when you're out there networking, literally, if you're looking for a job, guys, you don't need to look for a job anymore. Right. Create yourself. You could become your own resource. Exactly. Turn yourself yes. into a resource. Yes. I suggest if you're going to do it, you might as well be a resource for bigger ticket items than smaller ticket items. For no other reason, it makes it, takes as much time and effort to make a deal for ten grand than it does for $2.50. Right. So you might as well work on big ticket items. If you're going to create yourself in a resource, try to do it in stuff that's synergized. Because it doesn't make sense to sell insurance and also sell indoor air quality. But it also, you know, some things make more sense. Yes. You know, in the auto repair business, you could get, get involved in other things, whatever, yes. whatever it is. Right. But you can turn yourself into a resource. And you, when you get your piece of the action, you get that check written for you. I don't know of any business owner anywhere that wouldn't want to pay someone that makes sales for them. Exactly. Oh, without question. And that's what and that is what networking is. It's building a resource and it's about creating yourself. Making yourself into a resource. Without question. You know, right. we only have two minutes left and, and, and before we, we jump off, I do want you to tell our audience when your next events are. So for those people that don't know about five one six ads, where can we go see five one six ads? How do we how do we be able to get onto your email blast? I know that you send out every an Sunday awesome morning awesome email blast. Every so Sunday if you morning. can within a minute or two, just let them know when your next event is and how can someone find you. We could always be found on five one six ads for the events. I, we have so many events that we can't even mention them right now. We have ours and others, but an example would be uh, 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 we're going to be at Maggie's this week uh, 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 coming up on Tuesday uh, the twenty second. We're going to be at the Entrepreneur Center in Melville. The reason I just like to mention, I just love that name, the Entrepreneur I Center. I do love that Right name. in Melville. Long Island, Long Island needs an Entrepreneur Center. And guys, I have a lot of faith in Long Island, New York. We rank high in education. We rank high in per, act, per, uh, per capita income. We rank high in everything. So in this country, I don't know what that $700 billion bailout did. They were supposed to infuse business. There's been more business infused in Long Island in the last few years th than anywhere I've seen. And in August, we made a deal with Panera in Belmore, the first two-story Panera in Long Island. And every Monday, we're going to meet at Panera, breakfast, Panera at 8 a.m. in Belmore. And the reason we did that was to ignite business all summer long. Right. You know, something has to be said about energy. Yeah. 
Yes. Everything bagel, nice name. 516 has nice name. Websites are nice and anything. But as much as anything on your marketing thing, how much energy you bring into the table. And I'm not talking about the way I talk now. You don't need to be Richard Simmons, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got to show up every day and bring game. And the reason that I, we started those things in August is in the dry cleaning business where my dad, who I love him so much, was in it for 50 years. They call it the dog days of August. Right. Business owners, we, and they used to be able to close for the months of July and August. You we don't used to shut down. You couldn't go to Italy in August. We don't have time <laughs> to do that, that anymore. No, they called don't. it the dog days of August. Mm -hmm. Long Island, I don't know about you, but most people I know, they don't have time for a shutdown. Right. So we started Monday mornings. 8 a.m. Oh. just for the month of August to ignite business all summer long. I, I get I that think, spirit out there. Right. I, I think that's great. And, and you know what? Let's get the ball rolling. August is just another month. August is just another month in network. Absolutely. I think we had an amazing show amazing, today. Amazing, amazing. Uh, we do have to do a part two. There, there's so yeah, much there more, so many more things that, that we, we have to talk, talk about. And I know you yes. have a lot of energy, as, as do I, about this. And pa not energy, passion. 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 And we have a lot of passion. And you, of course. Oh, thank of you. Of course. <laughs> Come on. Without you, there's nothing here. <laughs> you uh, know we it. have a lot of passion. <laughs> we got to continue this as yes, part two. absolutely. But for the time being, uh, what's happening in Long Island? Yes. Everything is happening in Long Island. <laughs> Always. Um, and every Wednesday at 12 o'clock. Once again, congratulations. Yes. Seven years of, of it was awesomeness. Great. And it was a great um, event. And anybody that wants to call David, please do. You want to grow your business, you need to call David. I thank you, you guys. You can call all of us. We will tell you. We work together. You guys have we supported do. me for years, us Absolutely. for years. As I yes. said last night, davidgusson.com would suck. 516 <laughs> ads, 631 ads. That's all of us. All of us. Uh, there's nothing that could stop the Long Island business community if we're working together. Not even close, as a matter of fact. Right. And on that note, see you next week. Have a great what's one. What's happening in Long Island?